Hi everyone. Have you ever asked yourself, how do I truly go on living my life knowing that I have an estranged adult child? What does that look like? I'm going to dive into that in my video today. I know many times a lot of our videos do focus on the messy middle where you're still navigating the relationship and trying to figure it out. Well, what happens if you truly are estranged? So I want to dive into that. But first, I want to welcome all of our new guests. Uh, if you are new here, my name is Sally Harris, and this channel exists because I walked a difficult road with my own daughter for 10 years. And all the while her life was spiraling out of control, so was mine. I made a lot of mistakes. And this is why I do what I do, because I love helping moms get their own life back in the midst of all the chaos. So let's dive into this. You know, there are four things that I want to mention to you regarding um, having an estranged adult child. And the first one is knowing that your own story, as I'm sure if any of you have made comments um, here on the YouTube channel or maybe you've joined my Facebook group, you're going to see that you have some similarities with other moms, but you're also going to see that every story is uniquely different. Like there are no two families that are, are exactly the same of what's going on. So I just want you to know that your story is unique, okay? And so are you, right? And so number two is I want you to know that the biggest thing that you can do and honestly the best gift you can give your child is to refocus on you. You as a human being, not just as a mom, right? Really taking a look at your own life and, and maybe that means, you know, making some changes. Maybe that means really... You know, looking in the mirror, and I did a video on that um, a couple weeks ago about how moms, sometimes we have to look in the mirror and say, okay, what do I need to change? It's really easy for us to say, my son and my daughter, they need to do X, Y, Z. But what about us? So for us to be the best versions of ourselves, sometimes that happens. We need to look and refocus on ourselves, take a look in the mirror and see what needs to be worked on. Next is setting the example. You know, when I quit drinking, for those of you that don't know, so I did become very um, addicted to alcohol during this difficult road that I was on. And it was a personal choice, right? It, it was my choice that I started drinking heavily. Um, and I really isolated myself. I made a lot of mistakes. And I was blessed enough to be able to, I have um, six years of sobriety. And but really, when I quit drinking and a lot of weight loss came with that, I was making better food choices, all of that, those things kind of trickled over, I believe, into my daughter maybe looking at me a little bit differently, like, wow, mom's really getting her act together, right? I was never a perfect mom, and I don't think there is such thing, right? So, but I was trying to set the example, not just for her, but for my granddaughters, for my other kids, but really I was doing it for myself. And so being able to say, yeah, I'm gonna set the example because I'm going to get stronger for me and then everyone around me gets to benefit, including me, right? And lastly is seeking that healing. And it kind of goes back to looking in the mirror, but when we seek healing for ourselves from our own past, whether that is, you know, whatever traumas that maybe we have not really dug into and resolved, um, a lot of times, if you're anything like me, I used to think, oh, I'll just bury that. We don't need to talk about that. Let's just bury it and forget about it. Well, your body doesn't forget. I promise you that. Your body does not forget. And, you know, I ended up with a lot of, obviously, emotional pain, but physical illness and physical pain, sciatica, back pain, all of these things, because my emotions, I was not letting them out. And so once I was able to seek that healing, trauma therapy, um, and a lot of, you know, just mind and body work and spiritually. Um, I'm a Christian and my relationship with God just strengthened. Um, and it's been so amazing to watch, you know, even myself over the last couple years, just how stronger my faith has gotten. Um, but really seeking all that for yourself, whatever that is for you. But just being, just being intentional, right? Intentional about taking care of you. And so... I hope that helps. Um, you know, dealing with an estranged adult child is, is not fun. It's not easy, but you are definitely not alone in this process. Um, I hope that you can find some blessings in some of the other videos 
And if you are interested in my Facebook group, we'll put a link below. It's called Mama Just Breathe. And um, we have, we just started this not that long ago and we have over 200 people now, I believe, in the group. And so that is exciting. And so it's just a lot of support. And so if you're interested in that, we'd love to have you. You just have to answer a few questions um, and agree to the terms and um, you will be invited in. And so we look forward to seeing you there. And if not, we look forward to seeing you here on YouTube on another video. Until then.